Hello everyone, I'm going to make this really quick. Um, I plan to try to start doing TikTok videos along with my YouTube ones, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out or when I'm going to get it started yet. So this one is about The Masked Singer, season nine, I almost said volume, episode one. And I've decided for right now, I'm just going to do a very short one. I watched it with my grandson yesterday. Um, it was very interesting. Right now, I don't really know what any of the clues were or um <clears throat> there's only one character they matter for because they had three characters and two of them got revealed they do have a bell but if this um panel wants to ch to save one of the people that is about to be eliminated they can ring the bell and save that person and they chose not to use that <laughs> on the first episode but anyway the characters that were on there were <clears throat> excuse me were mustang um, I was trying to get where the light was better, but anyway, um, were Mustang, Gnome, and Medusa, um, their outfits were all really cool, and I am going to tell who each of them were, or who the ones that got revealed were, um, <coughs> as I said, the clues for only one of them really matter right now. Because that's that one is the only one that is still on there at this time. I plan to rewatch the episode, make notes about the clues for that character, um, and tell you guys about like what songs they actually did perform. Um, I thought they all did pretty good on the initial songs. I felt like <clears throat> Mustang did the best, and the first character that got revealed was known um he had a very sultry kind of familiar voice but he made me think of sylvester stallone i don't i'm not sure why but the instant he started singing i was like maybe that's sly stallone i don't know um but i went ahead and stuck with that choice um for him which of course was wrong <laughs> but yeah he was the first one that got revealed and he turned out to be dick van dyke who is now 97 years old looking great um he sang super califrigilis to expialidocious he was a little breathy on it whenever um that was what after he'd been revealed and he did a little dance thing and i was like man i hope i look and feel as good as he does when i'm 97 years old right um if i make it to 97 years old for that matter but anyway what is he let me show you there's easy anyway um she heard they heard dogs barking outside a while ago so they kind of want to go out but anyway um so then they had a battle royale easy stop anyway they had a battle royale and um, which was between of course mustang and medusa because they were the two left i do not like people who to me sound like they're screaming or yelling when they sing therefore i don't i didn't think medusa was that great of a performer because to me she sounds like she's singing or yelling now she implied or she didn't imply she said that she's been on there before but this time she's back to perform um which to me doesn't necessarily mean that she wasn't a character on there before it just means in her opinion she thinks maybe she didn't do that good of a job of performing before and she totally makes me think of jojo siwa that's who she makes me think of um, partly because she shouts when she sings and she didn't do that great of a job of performing the first time she was on there in my personal opinion and I know that she has the show where they um, try to develop um, young girls into better singers so um, I'm guessing she's done some singing coaching herself <clears throat> since she was on there but anyway um, so yeah I was like she seems like she might be Jojo Siwa to me now, when Mustang performed her first song, there was one point in the song that I was like, seems like maybe she has a country tone to her voice, but I quickly changed my mind, and her clues I, that I do recall led kind of toward Carnival, which made me think of Circus, which is a pink song, and she talked about how she had had several near-death experiences and stuff like that, which also made me think of pink. So while everyone was um jeering and making fun of ken for saying that mustang was um was pink i was going i mean i think she is um her build to me made me think of pink her voice made me think of pink and then nicole scherzinger um mustang turned out to be the other one that got revealed even though me and my sister both thought that she did better in the battle royale than 
Medusa did. <laughs> but anyway, um, me and my sister, you know, totally thought that she did the best on that one. I thought she did the best on the first song. And I was like, so someone's going to save this person and we're not going to see who they are. Right. But of course they, as I already said, chose not to use the veil. And I was like, what, why are you not using the veil to save Mustang? But anyway, because <laughs> I don't know who's going to come up, but Jenny was like, should we save Gnome? And I'm like, you ask about Gnome and you didn't ask about her. I mean, obviously he had a sultry, um, good voice. She thought maybe he was Tony Bennett. <clears throat> whom I was thinking had been on there before, but I guess he hasn't. But anyway, um, so yeah, they revealed Mustang, and she turned out to be country singer Sarah Evans. Um, now, I don't know a whole lot about her. She is a good singer. I couldn't tell you any of the songs that she sings, but she's one of those singers that when I hear a song and I'm like, who is that? And I shazam it or something, or I ask someone else and they're like, oh, that's Sarah a Evans. I'm like, oh, well, this is a really good song. <clears throat> so she does have a lot of good songs. She has a very beautiful voice. I was sad to see her go this early in the show, but, um, you know, it's not up to me. It's up to the panel and the live audience. So, um, but I was also glad to see that not just the panel, I don't think just the panel voted between the Battle Royale people, I'm pretty sure the entire group did, and like the audience and everything, and that bothered me last season that after the first person was gone, they had the only the panel vote between the others, but anyway, um, I could be wrong about that being the way that they did it, can't remember for sure, um, but anyway, so that leaves Medusa, I do love her outfit a whole, whole lot. Um, I'm leaning toward her being Jojo Siwa, but my other thought is they do have the um, guest judges on there. So I'm like, she could be someone who has been a guest judge on there in the past who didn't, who actually did not perform before. And so I was thinking while I was watching it with my grandson, I should Google and see who all of the past female panelist people have been on here and then I was like no because it's because if I try to google anything about it as most of you most likely know if it's already aired and I try to google anything about it it's going to show me who got eliminated and I didn't want that to happen but um also I had downloaded the Fox Now app which I don't understand these cable tv apps or tv network apps that like if you don't have a cable provider to enter your information you can't watch stuff on this app because if i had an antenna in my home i could watch the stuff <clears throat> the only one that i've downloaded um i downloaded nbc which you have to like you get a trial and you do that the same is true with fox now um abc has a channel guide you can watch whatever you want and I downloaded CBS, but I haven't watched it yet, so I'm hoping it's the same way. But anyway, I was hoping that I would be able to watch it live with the Fox Now app, but I was pretty sure I wouldn't be able to. <clears throat> so yeah, can't do that. I also looked for apps for my local TV stations, um, especially the Fox one, and didn't find those, of course. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go for now, because I got stuff I got to do. <laughs> um, still trying to find a at least part-time job that's close to my home, still babysitting my toddler grandson, volunteered to watch my soon-to-be infant grandson when they need, um, <clears throat> so I'm not sure how much I could work, but anyway, you know, <laughs> and wish me the best of luck with that Tubi, th or Tubi, TikTok thing because, you know, I got sick and tired of their commercials when they were on Hulu all the time when it first came about, and I was like, hey, I am never downloading that TikTok app. It's annoying. But my little sister says it's, it's kind of easier to use than YouTube, which I don't really see how that could be possible because YouTube's real easy for me to use. <laughs> but anyway, um, I figure I'll give it a try, um, post this video on there and on YouTube, and anyway, we'll see how that goes. Um, so, Everyone have a great whatever time of night or day it is in your part of the world. Stay safe and stay positive. I keep looking at the TV. <laughs> it's got pictures on it. But anyway, see, picture of a cattail. <laughs> Later, guys.